And welcome back at 643. Most children have a digital footprint before they're even born. In fact, studies reveal that kids will have over 1,000 pictures of themselves on social media before their fifth birthday. That sounds astounding, but somewhat realistic. Yes. And while some parents like to share photos with their kids, there are some dangers that go along with that. Sarah Costa explains. Proud parents love to share pictures of their kids on social media, but all those cute images can put your child's safety at risk. Identity theft is one big concern. Criminals only need a child's name, address, and birthday to steal their persona. Images and captions of kids often contain this info. First day of school posts are especially risky because parents can unknowingly reveal sensitive information like the teacher's name, the school's name, and even house numbers. Posting pics of your kids online can also attract child predators who use info like your child's favorite color or aspirations to groom them. Also, many pornographic pictures of children online are taken from social media sites and photoshopped or retouched. If you do decide to post pictures of your children, experts say keep the details to a minimum, check the background of photos to make sure there aren't any hints about where you live, never include teacher or school names, also, confirm your privacy settings on their page to make sure they aren't set to public. And it's a good idea to ask friends and family members to refrain from using photos or videos of your child. Lastly, if your child is over the age of four, ask for their permission before posting a picture. Another thing to watch out for devices in your home like Nest or Alexa, they take in digital data and share it to a software application. Experts say these can pose privacy issues as they capture video and record children's voices. I'm Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.